guys, welcome to the Tone Shed, I'm Alad. I'm Matty G. And today we are demoing the Boss ODB3 Bass Overdrive. <laughs> Did you think he needed an overdrive on a bass? Uh, if you want to play Motorhead. If you want to play Motorhead? He uses the bass, or he uses the overdrive on his uh, head, though, didn't he? Yeah, but if you don't have that option... You just drip it. This. Yeah, so, <laughs> bass overdrive. I wanted one, because I wanted to be Lemmy. See? <laughs> <laughs> So we've got level, EQ, balance and gain. It's like an o it's like a overdrive on a guitar, the O D two. Yeah. But this one's got has it got a top and bottom? Yeah, you've got like stacked stacked knobs on it. <coughs> so low I think the bottom one is a low and the top one is high. So you've got E Q like you know. Yeah, that would make sense. Boost, sorry. Uh balance, dry and overdrive. So that would be um, how much of the dry signal would be behind the overdrive. Yeah. Um, or how much how much distortion would be there. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's nice, because if you put it all the way up, you just get the overdrive, I suppose. Oh, no, you just get the... You just get the clean tone. If I put the pedal on, oh. it usually works. <laughs> and put it down a bit in the middle. You hear the dry signal behind yeah. it, so that's really handy because if you put too much overdrive on, you lose a bit of the bottom end, yeah. and that's very um, useful on a bass, isn't it? So we'll go through some tones. I'll get you to I'll, twiddle. I'll fiddle. Twiddle. Okay. There we go. Very useful. Very useful. <clears throat> oh, I, I like it. Yeah, I kind of liked it because you can get like a sort of a doom. Oh yeah, most definitely. Of yeah. Out of it. It's got like a band like Weed Eater yeah. or something. I think they use something similar, like an overdrive pedal. It doesn't sound like an overdrive. Yeah. Like a typical overdrive to me. It sounds a bit more fuzzy. Yeah, there you go. That's just yeah. the bass. It's probably just the bass. Yeah. yeah. So I used to use a Digitech Hothead pedal. Yeah. I've got it in the bag there. Um, I used to use that as guitar distortion pedal. That's what I used to use um, as an overdrive for my bass, just to give it a bit more oomph. Like yeah. I think it sounds a bit better than that, but um, 
I don't know. It's a good pedal. Oh, it's a very good pedal. Uh, you know, it'll give you some... It's not very expensive things. either. They're about £60. Yeah, typical sort of boss. Yeah, typical thing. boss overdrive E yeah, thing. <clears throat> so, boss pedal, obviously. It's not going to break. Nope, built like a brick. Built like a tank, yeah. <laughs> so, if you want one, you like the sound. They sell them everywhere, basically. Uh, get a boss three for two if there's one on. There's always one on. <laughs> there's one on, yeah. That's what I did, because I got that, I got the bass chorus and the bass limiter enhancer, all from yeah. Boss as well. They were, yeah, that was my rig, basically, when I was Bosh. playing guitar. Just boss everything. Boss, mate. So what do you guys think? Have you got one of these? Can you show us your settings? Um, what we're using, by the way, is a vintage V96 Hacky LH1000 Linear B410 cabinet. Um, yeah, give us a like. Give us a comment, maybe subscribe yep. if you enjoy it. Um, we'll be back every Friday. Every Friday. Every Friday yeah, there will yeah. be a video for you. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.